Welcome to the 2019 English Paper 1 of Alakhan University Examination Board HSSC Part 2 Examination. We will begin the paper with a 25-minute listening comprehension section. You will hear a recording of two passages. Each passage will be played two times. On each passage, you will answer questions written on your Paper 1 booklet. Listen carefully to the first passage, then open Paper 1 booklet and read questions 1 to 10. You will get two minutes for reading. The passage will be played one more time. You can make notes on your question paper. When the recording has finished, enter your answers on the separate answer sheet provided to you. You will have four minutes to pencil in your answers. Follow the instructions on the front page of Paper 1 to show which of the options A, B, C or D you have selected for each question. Do not turn over the page until you are told. Now please listen to the passage. Virtual Communities Thanks to computers and internet, we are witnessing the emergence of a new type of group, virtual groups or communities. Both adults and children are turning on their computers and electronic gadgets, logging onto the web and visiting special interest websites, often with chat rooms. If you are an immature photographer, you can chat online with other immature photographers. This online communication helps like-minded people to talk to one another about their shared interests. Whereas, 50 years ago, the definition of a community stressed the notion of geographic closeness and face-to-face -face relationships. Today's communities are much more broadly defined as sets of social relations among people. In this spirit, there is a wider access to what is commonly known as Internet communities or virtual communities. These communities provide their members access to extensive amounts of information covering a wide range of topics and issues. When visiting such communities, it does not matter what you look like or appear as. On the Internet, people are free to express their thoughts, to agree and disagree on topics, form online learning groups with strangers they have never met, and to escape from those they normally interact with by spending time online. Communicating over the Internet permits people to explore the boundaries of their personalities and to shift from one persona to another. Some researchers have come to the conclusion that the Internet for many people has become indispensable and that it is often the small things that the Internet is used for on a daily basis that makes it an integral part of people's lives. Read questions 1 to 10. You have two minutes time for reading.
Listen to the recording again. While listening, you may keep the question booklet open in front of you. Virtual Communities Thanks to computers and internet, we are witnessing the emergence of a new type of group, virtual groups or communities. Both adults and children are turning on their computers and electronic gadgets, logging onto the web and visiting special interest websites, often with chat rooms. If you are an amateur photographer, you can chat online with other amateur photographers. This online communication helps like-minded people to talk to one another about their shared interests. Whereas, 50 years ago, the definition of a community stressed the notion of geographic closeness and face-to-face -face relationships. Today's communities are much more broadly defined as sets of social relations among people. In this spirit, there is a wider access to what is commonly known as internet communities or virtual communities. These communities provide their members access to extensive amounts of information covering a wide range of topics and issues. When visiting such communities, it does not matter what you look like or appear as. On the internet, People are free to express their thoughts, to agree and disagree on topics, form online learning groups with strangers they have never met, and to escape from those they normally interact with by spending time online. Communicating over the Internet permits people to explore the boundaries of their personalities and to shift from one persona to another. Some researchers have come to the conclusion that the Internet for many people has become indispensable and that it is often the small thing that the internet is used for on a daily basis that makes it an integral part of people's lives. Now record the answers to the questions in the multiple choice answer sheet. You will have four minutes to record your answers.
Now we will play another passage. This will also be played two times. Mayan Indians The Mayan Indians lived in Mexico for thousands of years before the Spanish arrived in the 1500s. The Maya were an intelligent, culturally rich people whose achievements were many. They had farms, beautiful palaces and cities with many buildings. The Mayan people knew a lot about nature and the world around them. This knowledge helped them to live a better life than most people of that time because they could use it to make their lives more comfortable and rewarding. Knowledge about tools and farming, for instance, made the work easier and more productive. In ancient Mexico, there were many small clearings in the forest. Each clearing was a village with fields of corn, beans and other crops around it. To clear the land for farms, the Maya cut down trees with stone axes. They planted seeds by digging holes in the ground with pointed sticks. A farmer was able to grow crops that produced food for several people. But not every Maya had to be a farmer. Some were crop makers, builders or priests. The Maya believed in many gods, including rain gods, sun gods and corn gods. The people built large temples to honor the Mayan gods. Skillful workers built cities around these temples. It was difficult for them to construct these cities because they had no horses to carry the heavy stones they used to build with. Workers had to carry all of the building materials themselves. Today, many of these ancient Mayan cities and temples are still standing. Although the cities that the Maya built were beautiful and the people worked hard to build them, very few of the people lived in them. Usually only the priests lived in the cities. The other people lived in small villages in the forest. Their houses were much simpler than the elaborate structures in the cities. They lived in small huts with no windows. The walls were made of poles covered with dried mud and the roof was made of grass or leaves. Most Maya lived a simple life close to nature. Measuring time was important to the Maya, so they developed a system for measuring it accurately. Farmers needed to know when to plant and harvest their crops. Mayan priests made a system to keep track of time. The Mayan priests studied the sun, moon, stars and planets. They made a calendar from what they learned. The year was divided into 18 months of 20 days each with five days left over. The Mayan calendar was far more accurate than the European calendars of the time. Around the year 800, the Maya left the villages and beautiful cities never to return. No one knows why this happened. They may have died from an infectious disease. They may have left because the soil could no longer grow crops. Archaeologists are still trying to find the lost secrets of the Maya. They are still one of our greatest mysteries. Now read questions 11 to 20. You will have two minutes time for reading. Do not turn over the page until you are told.
Listen to the passage again. While listening, you may keep the question booklet open in front of you. Mayan Indians The Mayan Indians lived in Mexico for thousands of years before the Spanish arrived in the 1500s. The Maya were an intelligent, culturally rich people whose achievements were many. They had farms, beautiful palaces and cities with many buildings. The Mayan people knew a lot about nature and the world around them. This knowledge helped them to live a better life than most people of that time because they could use it to make their lives more comfortable and rewarding. Knowledge about tools and farming, for instance, made their work easier and more productive. In ancient Mexico, there were many small clearings in the forest. Each clearing was a village with fields of corn, beans and other crops around it. To clear the land for farms, the Maya cut down trees with stone axes. They planted seeds by digging holes in the ground with pointed sticks. A farmer was able to grow crops that produced food for several people, but not every Maya had to be a farmer. Some were crop makers, builders or priests. The Maya believed in many gods, including rain gods, sun gods and corn gods. The people built large temples to honor the Mayan gods. Skillful workers built cities around these temples. It was difficult for them to construct these cities because they had no horses to carry the heavy stones they used to build with. Workers had to carry all of the building materials themselves. Today, many of these ancient Mayan cities and temples are still standing. Although the cities that the Maya built were beautiful and the people worked hard to build them, very few of the people lived in them. Usually only the priests lived in the cities. The other people lived in small villages in the forest. Their houses were much simpler than the elaborate structures in the cities. They lived in small huts with no windows. The walls were made of poles covered with dried mud and the roof was made of grass or leaves. Most Maya lived a simple life close to nature. Measuring time was important to the Maya, so they developed a system for measuring it accurately. Farmers needed to know when to plant and harvest their crops. Mayan priests made a system to keep track of time. The Mayan priests studied the sun, moon, stars and planets. They made a calendar from what they learned. The year was divided into 18 months of 20 days each with five days left over. The Mayan calendar was far more accurate than the European calendars of the time. Around the year 800, the Maya left the villages and beautiful cities never to return. No one knows why this happened. They may have died from an infectious disease. They may have left because the soil could no longer grow crops. Archaeologists are still trying to find the lost secrets of the Maya. They are still one of our greatest mysteries. Now record the answers to the questions in the multiple choice answer sheet. You will have four minutes to record your answers.
You should now go on to the next section of paper 1, which is reading comprehension. You will have 30 minutes for that section. Thank you and good luck.